19-year-old gunman David Roundtree has been taken into custody in Whittlesey. Gail Watson reports Roundtree was arrested in a paddock a short time ago. Police have been looking for 19-year-old David Paul Roundtree for more than 24 hours after a string of alleged armed robberies and a police chase through Melbourne. Today, police converged on Whittlesey following a number of sightings. As a precaution, a number of streets and several schools and childcare centres were placed into lockdown. It is now business as usual in the main street of Whittlesey. Police confirming they have taken a man into custody. Gal Watson, Whittlesey. Mary is on the line. She's a Whittlesey resident and she's got some information for us. Good afternoon, Mary. How are you? Good, thank you. Thanks for calling us. That's OK. I just thought that what I had to say might put a few parents' minds at ease. I, I too have children Good. both in the high school and the primary schools and I've got two conflicting stories at the moment. One is that the person has actually been sighted down opposite the Whittlesea showgrounds in a park called Lions Park, which is a heavily bushed-type park area. And um, then also that he's gone double-backed and gone back towards the actual Yanying tennis courts, which is back down Plenty Road, going the other way back towards Melbourne. So both of them are are Mm. appropriate for what people have been saying, and and Mm. both of them kind of make sense of why there's still people are out and about in the actual main centre of Whittlesey. So, well, they're, they're quite a, a distance apart, aren't they, from where the um, showgrounds are to where the uh, the road, where the tennis courts are, is that right? Or By foot, they're a good, decent 30 minutes. By car, about yeah. 5 to 10, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it, it's actually been said that he was known to be, from the cemetery coming in towards Whittlesey, he actually went down behind the high school and then over through the actual Whittlesea Tennis Courts, which does take him then into Lions Park, if that's where he is. Mm. I mean, that's an area that is um, does have a lot of trees and thick bush and so forth mm. and scrub-type things where a lot of our local high school kids are known to actually wander down to if they don't want to go to a class and so forth. So it is a good hiding area, but by the same token, apparently it's got a lot of police down there and they're checking all, all yes, the area I, thoroughly. And yeah, I doubt very much, Mary, that they'll be wandering down there today. But, no, um, definitely not. They're actually in uh, lockdown, so they've, they've contacted me a couple of times and, and said that they're actually having a ball watching movies and, uh, yeah, listening to the, the telecast live. So yeah. Well, uh, that's a, yeah, well, that's a good update for us, Mary. And uh, as I've said a couple of times, we're you know, all hoping for a good outcome. And in Whittlesey, I believe, is Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Hi, how are you going? Good, thank you. Whereabouts are you? In Whittlesey itself. In Whittlesey. And are, are you in touch? Did, did I hear you're in touch with your daughter who's at the school? She's at the high school. At the high school, um, okay. But we got a text message from um, one of the primary schools at about 1 o'clock saying that they were in lockdown until further notice. And then my daughter, who's at the high school, she rang and she said that they're in lockdown um, and she was told that he, he'd he been sighted at the Whittlesea Cemetery. Mm-hmm. That's um, on the way in, isn't it? On the way just in before you from get Melbourne, in. yeah. Yeah, just before you, um, I think it's the big toboggan park. Yes, I know, yeah. And then I was speaking with the nursing home up here and they were told the same thing, that he was sighted earlier on down near the cemetery. Yeah. Well, we're hoping, and of course, just just from a from a technical point of view, th- these are plans that most of these public uh, institutions and places have in place to go into lockdown. It's a precaution. It's uh, without alarming people, but it's a natural thing and a normal thing to do to go into lockdown if there is an incident within the area. And let's hope it does, in fact, have a a positive outcome. Uh, no one wants to see anybody uh, hurt, and uh, a difficult difficult job for the police and uh, I admire their patience and of course the work they have to do. Debbie, thank you very much um, keep us uh, uh, stay in touch with us if anything develops uh, 96 900 693 we appreciate your call Debbie, thanks for calling. Paul is uh, in his car and he's in the Whittlesea area and he's got a bit of an update to give us on what is going on out there. Good afternoon Paul, thanks for calling in. Yeah, good afternoon, how are you going? Good thank you, what can you see? Uh when I was coming into Whittlesey about uh, three quarters of an hour, hour ago, um, I got overtaken by a heap of police cars coming into Whittlesey. They've um, they blocked off a road into a little estate uh, about two kilometres out of town, and they blocked that off. Now that I've come back, um, I noticed that all the police cars and some police are indicating for them all to pull back. To pull back. Um, now that I've driven away from Whittlesey, there's a reserve. I think it's a TH 
Harry or Harry Reserve. Is that on the Melbourne side of Whittlesea, is it? Yeah, it is. I'm yeah, pretty right. There'd be about 25 police cars that are all pulling in. Um, SOG, uh, TRG, Tactical Response, mm. Mark, Mark, uh, all sorts of people. Uh, so I don't know what's actually happening, um, whether or not they're using that as a staging point. I'm not sure. Yeah, well, obviously, um, it's still unfolding, Paul, and uh, and I, I really appreciate you uh, calling in. So I'd suggest to people in that area that it uh, might be a good idea to avoid it or, you know, lie low if uh, until we find out exactly what's going on. But uh, as you heard Paul say, number of police cars, it seems like they're pulling back. Hi, Frank. G'day, uh, Mike. Oh, How are you? I'm good, thank you. You're in Whittlesea too, are you? Well, I was in Munda at uh, 10.54 oh, this morning, okay. which is just, uh, you know... On just before Rail Whittlesea, and uh, I, I noticed some police activity happening where I was working. Mm. I got overtaken by a um, marked car because I was on my mobile, I thought I was going to get pinged. Mm. And um, I thought that was strange, and then as I was leaving, getting onto Plenty Road, heading uh, south, I saw some more marked cars heading in the north direction, which is Whittlesea area, and I said, there's got to be something going on. So mm. activity started when I saw it at 10.54 around the Greg Drive area, so... Uh, well, thanks for that. Something's around there because there, there seems to be some unmarked cars coming out of that area.